Did we tell him that we didn't find anything? Yeah. Okay. So we're liars. Our yeah. pants, our pants are in fact on fires. When you're done talking to him, come and find me. All right. You got it. Ah, gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Okay, SA. It's a nice acting, Marcus. It's only half acting. He would still love to beat the shit out of you. Da 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 da. Son of a bitch. That's what he said. Well, yeah. Jesus, they worked you over good. You all right? Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Donde esta la mano? That's very important to know. You were right. No, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? <sighs> we had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay? Not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. <laughs> this ass with the poopy hair. That's Rafe. A little more uh, private. Yeah. Notice his sunken eyes. I think he sleeps about, like, one hour a day. about one hour a day that's what your eyes look like oh, i'm just kidding they do not look like that okay so what do we got oh shit huh hey may i just be careful okay wood with gold and silver inlay it's well made i mean where else do you keep things in prison that's why it's called your prison pocket why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. <sighs> Digna factus recipimus. We receive... It's we not receive booby Jesus. The rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. There's a benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. Learn Latin. That's St. Dismas. Yeah. Good old St. Dismas. What's the connection? D Dismas. Dismas. Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. Uh, okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed... They're going to explain it, don't worry. Graves. Okay, one of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay, he accepted his punishment with grace. Yeah. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out. There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I have my doubts about you too, but let's find Bart. They get stickets. Get out of the show. Uh, St. Dismas is, is actually a real person. That was the penitent thief's a name. Figure. A real figure. Um, I can't remember who the other thief's name is, but it comes up later in the game. Dickhead, yeah. Dickhead thief and... Uh, I don't speak that language, sir. Damn, his neck tattoo is fucking sweet. Oh god, we're punching now. Um, anyways, so yeah. St. Desmond is a real bro. Um... And we found uh, a crucifix of him, but it's not an actual crucifix. I didn't even know that, and I did go to Catholic stuff. I thought crucifix was just any kind of cross with, you know, a symbol on it. But it's specifically for Jesus. Well, that is usually, because normally you don't find Dismas crosses. Mira, elote. <laughs> Everything's elote. Everything is corn. Hey, bro. I'm gonna punch you in the face, you Vin Diesel-looking motherfucker. 
Thank you. Uh, that's not an insult at all. That's like the best they could ever hope to be. I'll help. We're not done here, guys. Eat a chode, bro. Ow. They, they're all either look like Mr. Clean or Vin Diesel. Diesel clean. Diesel clean your nuts. Did I just do a flying kick of awesomeness? I did. We are just gangbanging these guys. Ow, ow, ow. Make it a swear in Chupa comic? That sounds good. It sounds like it could be a swear word. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. Where did all these guys come from? Who let... I know. Prison means people who beat you up. Ow, for being white. Ow. There's no such thing as white Nazis in prison. I guess probably not in a Panamanian prison, to be fair. Kick him in the elote. I'm, that's true. I've never actually been to a Panamanian prison. No, really? <laughs> I think that... Oh, this is the boss. That's why he's kicking my ass. He's got that sweet throat tat. That probably... Oh, God. Don't die. There we go. Do the laundry with him. Hey, hey, get off! Oh, oh. Is this the end of the fight? Oh, don't shiv me, bro. Oh. Hi, Vargas. Hi, hi Vargas. Hi, Vargas. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. Gustavo was going to kick my ass, but uh ¿Qué es esto? The good thief is Dismas. D I S M A S. Are you bringing in contraband, Vargas? Stállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Dismas, yep, that's him. Anyway, we told him we didn't find anything, but now he found it. Dismass. <laughs> In my pants. Pants mass. Dejanos. Dejanos. That means leave us, I think. It took you long enough. We almost got killed, you know? We still might. Vargas? Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well? How can I say? I was raised Catholic. I Put it in your corn. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate? Fine, stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. Thank you. We're willing to give you a uh, ten percent. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, twenty, and you'd never find it without us. Twenty-five equals twenty-five. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Sure. <laughs> I just don't want to get punched anymore. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me again. Good, good job, Rafe. Booby Dismas. Jesus. <sighs> Are you out of your goddamn mind? Do you want to find out? Not really. You're scary. Yeah. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. I feel like you could have just promised him like a hundred million dollars. What's he gonna do? Leave the jail to come get you like in a year when you find it? Seriously. What the fuck would he even have done? Rafe, you're an idiot. Ow, I got shot. Anyways, as I was saying. The window. The window. Um, Give me a hand. I'm helping you. Uh, we have a new game now. It replaced Warframe. Um, and it's kind of like a mix of uh, Borderlands. And um, what was the other game we compared it to? I don't know. Uh, it, it has a Borderlands aspect in the sense that it's a first-person shooter with a lot of different types of guns. Um, there's, it's very weird. The humor is kind of 
there. Uh, it has a lot of Chinese influence, which is really neat, the art style and the mythology. Um, ow, 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 my gut, my butt. Um, yeah, Borderlands is really fun, and this is why, this one's still in early access. We did, we did buy it, um, but it's still, it's still considered early access game. Um, but so far it's been really fun, and, uh, very hard. We cannot pass the first world level, whatever you want to call it. What, what are we climbing? Um, and it's called, uh, Gunfire Reborn. Um, I actually do plan on streaming it. I'll probably, I might even just do it in the middle of the week or something. Um... And if Zare wants to play with me, we, we'll stream it together. Uh, it does have co-op. You can also play it by yourself. It's a roguelite game. So whenever you die, you're back to square zero. Um, but you do have a level that you build up with um, every quest you do. Um, <laughs> it's called Minecraft. I do love Minecraft. I keep forgetting. I, I have a server. Uh, it's right here in, my, in the basement. So we should all play together sometime. Um, DMC might be a little laggy, you know. And uh, being in Australia and all, um, but yeah, I do. I do have a server. Um, Zara and I have a few worlds on it. Uh, yeah, it's 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 one of those games that I like to go back to, like every five or six months. It's 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 one of those games where you go a while without playing it, but then you get back to it, and it's like, holy shit, this is fun. And then a week goes by, and you don't play it again for a few months. So, but yeah, we should all play together sometime. It'd be a blast. Hey, Amber, welcome to the party. Um, we started on Chart Four, and. Uh, we're trying to escape a jail in Panama. And uh, Nate has a brother. His name's Sam. He's gonna leave with it's okay. Not if we're quick. Yeah, you did miss Booby Not Jesus, though. St. Dismas. St. Dismas, quick rundown. He was the penitent thief on the uh, next to Jesus at the crucifixion. There were two people on either side of Jesus. One was a douche thief and one was a penitent thief. Oh, poor digestive system. Those are the worst kinds of issues. Well, maybe I can't speak if girl issues are worse than digestive issues. But I know I do not like digestive issues. Yeah, get the ladder, Rafe. You dingleberry. Yep, he was the guy who was not a douche. He was humble and penitent at the end. And I think the lore is that he went... The lore. <laughs> I guess it is considered lore, not to be sacrilegious. Um, but the theology is that he went to heaven with uh, with Jesus, whereas the other thief, who was a doucheberry, um, did not go to heaven. And Elote is now a swear, yes. We're going. Ah, shit. Rafe, you want to help me? No, you're just going to shoot? Okay. Sam! Come on! I'll pull you up! Oh, that sucks. Anxiety can cause digestive issues, yep. 100% true. Sam, no. No, you hold on! Hold on! Sam! Give me your other arm! Come on, Reed! No! We gotta move. Come on, are still down there? No, yep. come on. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. That's the joy of games that play with, uh... Can't, can't leave him jumping timelines. He's dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. So now you probably have somewhat of an idea why he's not, uh, mentioned in the, uh... In the first three games. Oh god, no. no. Yeah, we do still have booby dismiss though, you're correct. That makes up for it. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going. I'm trying to mourn. What where am I going? Oh Jesus. Shit potato. I'm oh, sorry, potato. I didn't die! I didn't die! Hard mode is easy! My check-ins. It's easier than crushing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks. Um, but yeah. I will, um... I'll show it off for you guys at some point. It's really fun. Like I said, it's very hard. But for being a roguelite, it's not super stressful when you die. You actually keep all your progress. So any experience you earned, um, any new things you unlock, they stay unlocked. Your experience is wholesome when you die. Wholesome. 
I know, I do. I hate it when you need to mourn, but then you got shit to do. No time. Hey, look, it's Sully. That was Eldorado. Remember those fuckers? From the second game. There's the train from the second game. It's actually a pretty neat opening credits, I will say that. It's actually how the second game opened. Great stuff. Very helpful. The little notes. There's the uh, village where our friend um, Tenzin lived. Shambhala with the explosive sap. Hey, look, it's the third game where we fucking fell out of a burning plane. And there's my butt. Yeah, we did, it was true. Nolan North and Troy Baker. Horses in the desert. There's the butt. On the spot? Is that a game? Right. Made it to the bottom. Okay. I have not heard of that one. No, not yet anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right, I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. It's scuba time. Got it. The Malaysia job. Down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. <laughs> no flowers, bad game. RT's. Oh, it was, a, it was a game show. Okay. Quote, quote, unquote, game show. Which I'm guessing means uh, it was one that was not taken very seriously. Uh, I know there's some treasure down here. If I don't find it, it's not the end of the world because I found it before. But uh, if anyone sees anything sparkling, let me know. I'll pick it up. No seriousness at all. Well, that's what makes it a good game show then. Any game show that takes itself too seriously is probably not that fun. Not allowed anywhere near it. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I have uh, pretty much zero um, awareness of... Uh... Oh, maybe we'll find your personality too then. Um, yeah, I, I, I pretty much know nothing about Rooster Teeth stuff. The only reason I know Red vs. Blue is because I binged it after reading the comic a few years ago so uh beyond that i have uh, no knowledge or or interest of it so i uh, i'm completely in the dark about what this is all i know about it is like stuff that you and shu have talked about because you guys are pretty heavily involved in the community or rather used to be i feel like the name has been mentioned that's why it kind of rang a bell for me so you guys must have talked about it before <laughs> Well, LV's already staked out their favorites. Oh, a sparkle. Ooh, we found a shark in the water. Shark trinket. Yeah, it definitely was not anything recent that was that it brought it up, but I know uh, the term. I've definitely heard the term from you guys before, so. Must have mentioned it before. Yeah, CT's pretty groovy. Can't deny that. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe it hit the rocks, tore off before. This is why I have nothing to do with any fandom of anything that I watch or get into. It looks like a piece of our wreck. Like whenever I hear Charlotte talking about the Castlevania fandom and how awful it is, I'm like, why would you even want to be involved with it? I get it. Some people like to be part of the community, which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. But um Look at this fucking tire. But yeah, I've never been that person. I never uh, been into fandoms. I just find them annoying and full of either really douchey people or really douchey people. <laughs> TUA. T TUA. What does that stand for? TUA. The Umbrella Academy. Figured it out. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it either. <laughs> Not in a million years. 
love the show will never take a step into a Tumblr or a Twitter or anything related to it. And Tumblr. Come back for this. Yeah, there's some. There, there's always some good things to find, and you guys clearly you, you guys found each other, which is awesome. I luckily did not have to deal with any fandom to meet all of you. I just had to read a furry comic and join the Discord server one day. <laughs> Back in its infancy, and that's how I met all of you. No fandom required. Well, I guess technically speaking, we're all Shoes fans, but that was before it was a fandom. Now it's full of furries. I mean, yeah, like I said, if, you, if you're looking for either discussion or fan art or, you know, whatever... Hey, all, all more power to you. Sometimes you got to look in the places that are full of shit people. I'd say we use them to lift the whole thing. That's a, that's a, that's an unfortunate side part of internet fandom. To find the good shit, you got to wade through ninety percent of the bad shit. Yeah, but see, I'm also yeah. I usually don't care about finding extracurricular activity. I don't care about discussions. I don't care about art. There, every once in a while, there's something that I want to find art for. Um, but usually it's something that's either older or um, hasn't been popular for a while. Like, I went through an Okami art phase like four or five years ago, and I have a bunch of random Okami background art. But I didn't look at any, you know, um, forums on Okami. It was more I just searched for the art. A lot of it's still strapped down. So. But yeah, no, again, if, if, if that's something you're into. Two, three. Not a problem with that. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. Gonna go round them up. Yeah, there'll be a different crowd for sure. But then again, uh, Final Fantasy has just as garbage of a <laughs> of a fandom as any other one. There's always the uh, terrible ones there. So you live with it, though. Comes with the territory. It's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I haven't talked about what's going on at all. Uh, we're legit now. We're doing real jobs. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, no, I mean, you guys are the outsiders in the furry world, so I don't blame you for wanting different types of people that you actually understand the fandom for. Crate's probably closer to the trailer. Uh, I'm looking... Where are you? How close to the trailer, Nate? Oh, do, 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 do. Maybe I should go up a little bit, get a bird's eye view or fish eye view. Where the hell is it? Come on, crate, crate, crate. Didn't that didn't I pass one earlier? Why didn't I pick it up at that point? I mean, true, it wasn't a treasure, so why would Nate pick it up? You know, put them in the corn. But then none of you will have internet, and I won't be able to talk to any of you. The truest nightmare of all. Antique pocket watch. Nice. The hell is this damn crate? I found it. Right. I just had to get lost and find some treasure. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. Alright, see you soon. Put it in the box. Or put the box in the box. Alright, that's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you, slings on its way down. Get the sling. Hey. 
the mighty fine sling. Okay, it's in position. Look up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axles. That should work. Yep. Looping it. That's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. Stop talking about my oxygen. You're gonna make something bad happen, Jameson. Like an oxygen shark is gonna come after me. And that's two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear. We'll lift it up. I haven't figured out if there's a way to die during this part. I've never done it before, so I'm thinking it doesn't let you die, but... Nope. I'm happy with my zero death counter right now. How clear do I have to be? You can't see where I am. And up we go. He's got special eyes. Maybe I have a camera on my helmet. But I like the idea of special eyes better. Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. No promises. Okay. Oh, Jameson. Who's going to dive if I die, huh? No one else is as crazy and adrenaline high as I am. Scuba, very high adrenaline. It is, man. At any moment, you could like meet a harpoon man. Harpoonist. Har harpoonist. Harpoon tang. There you go. Oh yeah, baby, get that cinch done. Oh yeah, sexy cinching. All cargo present and accounted for. And with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. So that's a hint that you can go around and look for some more treasure if you want to. But since we already have it all and we actually did find two, let's get a ride back up. I think there's a total of three. Hey, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. I like how it makes you feel like there's going to be something that happens, like a shark or it's going to fall or... Nah. Just Nate doing a perfectly legitimate job. Harpoonists. No harpoonists. No uh, shark hornet bear bat ravens. Now that I'm out of that river, I'm going to stick like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're going to come to you. Hang on. Hang on. I will say, man, salvage operations are fucking cool. Like, look at the size of this whole thing. You got one half of the boat there, which is a giant floating platform. And then you have the actual salvage boat, which is basically like a barge. Um, it's really neat, man. And barge. Like, you would think that thing would be anchored because of how huge it is. But no, it's just this fucking tugboat with a giant, massive crane on it. It must be weighted like shit on the other side. I hop down? Oh, yeah. First triangle to hop down. Look at that water effect. Woo. Saucy. Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. You don't get a name, I'm sorry, my friend. Gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoa. This tank's kinda light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Yeah, don't complain about the fact I almost killed myself because I love adventure and the sensation of slowly being suffocated. No kink shaming. Drake. Oh, Gotta talk to me. It wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Because I'm stunned. Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> Zing. That's cold, man. I'm gonna tell her you said that too. Rude. <laughs> Don't tell your mom I said that. She's probably a really nice lady. Up my ass. <laughs> I need your signature on this. What? Who's signature? You talking to me? My How man. Are you doing down there? What's up, bro? Give me a second. How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> making the rest of us look bad. I'm making the rest of you look good. Yeah, it's a team effort. Ooh, hello. 
You fucking just have treasure on your barge. Ooh, look at this arcade token. This is not treasure, Drake. This is not treasure. This is you being a nerd. Oh, that's pretty great. You just stole some man's token. He was going to go hit the arcade after this. It's shiny. It's treasure. It's mine. It's the rule. The rule of the universe. Jameson, are you having trouble? Oh, look at this boat. I wonder what the uh, capacity is of that boat. You need to multiply the length of the boat by the width of the boat and divide it by 15. Give us an hour or so. You might be curious why we have all these boat facts. Zara and I watched a boating video before this. It was pretty hilarious. Before we talk to Jameson, let's wander around. I am actually still... I, I did get all the treasure in this game, but I'm actually missing some conversations still and some journal notes, so I will be trying to find them, but chances are I will need a guide for that. Because um, a lot of times that stuff is like way off in the middle of nowhere and there's no indication until you get really close and if you move a foot too far um, the scene advances and you lose it entirely so even though I've played this game not as many as the other it's still a few times definitely still missing some things let's wrap this up later my hero <laughs> come on let's go see what you brought us <gasps> so how about you let someone else be point man next time you've earned a break no, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while till the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got under bid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Life's not uh, as easy when you're not a treasure hunter. Uh, nah. Care to do the honors? Absolutely, sir. Let me open this box. Thanks. Here it is, guys. Wow. Look at that. You struck cop. Well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies. Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Copper is actually worth a lot. No, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just going to do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Girl, I know. Uh, yeah, no, some people like um, it's apparently fairly common for unfinished houses or houses being renovated um, for them to be con men and they just come in and fucking rip all your copper pipes out because they're worth uh, a lot. worth a pretty penny. So yeah, um, there's actually a lot of horror stories of people who didn't hey, what are you do their background here? work on their contractor and came home to a house with no pipes in it. Present for you. Present? What's this? Got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment too. We are all set. Except uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one, he, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours, he get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money. For the both of us, okay? I've become such a good boy. I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me, I'm okay? not going to change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? He's a convincing dude. Say hi to Carla and the kids for me. Okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Really think about it. Narrow down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. I think I cut my lip on nachos. Wow. I know. I got a I got a sharp piece of uh, tortilla chip. <laughs> Hurts. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention our dinner was <laughs> pretty extravagant. We had uh, homemade bacon cheeseburgers. I found a new burger recipe, and Zara and I both agree it was pretty fucking tasty. Um, and uh, and nachos, not fries. Zara wanted nachos, <laughs> so we made we made nachos and we made burgers and uh, and bacon. It was horribly healthy and delicious. Anyway, chapter four, a normal life. We are just humming through these fucking chapters. I guess the first few are pretty short though. So, uh, this is, um, looks to be some kind of an attic. Famous Dave's. Oh, it was your roommate's birthday. Happy belated birthday to the old roomie. Um, but yeah, so, um, this is, uh, an attic. I, I guess that's not really a spoiler. We can see that we're in an attic. We can see we're in some kind of a neighborhood. So we can probably, ass- <laughs> oh, we can probably assume this is our house. Um, let's take a look around see what we got. If you guys recall, this is the jacket. That we wore in um, uh, fucking Uncharted 2. We got it after we almost died. Uh, before we got to the uh, village in the Himalayas. So our friend Tenzin gave us that jacket. Um, the box here is labeled Borneo. Which is where we were in the beginning of the second game. That's the um, tropical island we were on. These flags up here. These are par- prayer flags. I'm hoping we didn't steal them. I assume they were... Bananas! Never noticed that before. Um, I'm assuming these are gifted to us by the people of the village um, who the got bananas. the bananas were also gifted from the people of the village. Um, let's see. Spray paint. Write Charlie back. Oh, you guys remember Charlie? Cutter? From the... Uh, I am so ADHD. And this attic is awesome. And we don't get to come back here. So I'm going to take my time here. Um, yeah, you guys remember Cutter from the uh, third game? The British guy? That's the Charlie I assume that that is referring to. Um, we got a rock climbing helmet, it looks like. I assume. <laughs> I mean, look. You guys know me by now. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got a little Shiva. This would be from... Big brother some years back. Uh, this would be from the second game as well. There's a lot of stuff from the second game in this first part of the attic. What else we got? Oh, we got a skull. Yeah. One of the stranger things. Ooh, it's a spooky skull. Where did this come from? Where did the skull come from? I don't remember if this is the second game or the third game. Spooky skull. It's a spooky skull. You like the 14 Shiva? I like the 8 Shiva. Actually, I like the 15 Shiva too. Spanish Your boob friend found in a comes and rescues you with ice on randomly. On the jungle. Here's a coin from the Nazi U-boat in the middle of the jungle. Uh, first game. Sir Francis Drake. Lost treasure of the crusade. Oh, this is, uh, I think this is the book from the first game. Drake. Yep. Bullet for Sully. Look at us. Look at us. How young we were. Found this all my old camera. I thought you'd like to have it. E. E stands for Elizabeth. Just kidding, Elena. Marco Polo. What'd you say? You don't know that. I don't know that's true. Simple wardrobe. China, famous brand. Wow, it's like it actually came from China. Did you see an elote? Is this corn? That's not corn. I like how I do have like four sleeping bags just in case. Um, we don't want to use that yet. Let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Shambhala. Ah, this is our book from the second game. Miss you, pal. Aw, Tenzin. Hi, buddy. You never smile. I love you. Hey, there's the hat. Uh, what else we got? <gasps> so Francis and his elaborate. Right, we didn't lose this. We just lost the ring because uh, the Karen, the Karen, <laughs> the Karen. the Karen. That's her name. Karen took it with her to her sandy grave. Oh, uh, I know. She had. Oh, she had a sandy vagina. Matches her personality. What a whore. <laughs> the Karen. Marlo is a is a menacing name, but I will forever call her the Karen because of the drawing I did. 
<laughs> with with Amducius having a Karen wig. So from now on, she is not Marlo. She is simply the Karen. <laughs> the greatest enemy of our time. <laughs> Holds true today. Ooh. I love this part. So, in case you couldn't figure it out, that book is not from any of the previous games. And we did not look at the picture. Y'all yeah. remember this cross, though. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. St. Dismas. The booby Dismas. And that's even the jacket that we wore to prison, I think. Oh, no, no, that's the jacket that uh, Sam gave us when we were a kid. That's what that is. What else we got? Oh, there's our third book. Now this was a crazy ride. Yeah, my favorite game. Nate, how's things? I've been up to my usual shenanigans, nothing major. But enough to keep the heat on and the wine stocked. Caught wind of something that sounded right up your alley. Should you ever change your mind, give me a yell. I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. Love, Chloe. <laughs> Books. Welcome to the party. Oh, it's Leo. How you doing, Leo? Um, yeah, Chloe is. Uh, we we don't uh, we don't hang out with Chloe anymore because we're we're good boys now. And Chloe's still doing her thieving thing, I imagine. Which is why Hiko is Chloe because it's really far too fitting. Oh come on, you gotta wear the giant belt buckle. Ah, I just got back from work. Gotcha. You're still uh, you're in the Eastern time zone, right? So you're an hour ahead. So yeah, that's uh, second shift, I'm guessing. Well, welcome to the party. We got about an hour left. And here's yeah. the last item. The only gun we're allowed to have anymore. Here they come. Take cover. Yeah, I don't think that's quite true. <laughs> ah! Don't let him shoot you. It's on hard mode. This is proof, uh, proof that Nate's a dork. In case it wasn't clear before. Right. And that. Wait, there's one more somewhere. Oh, I can't see it. Business. Oh no. Eat plastic. Is that what's his name, Lazarevich? Yeah, you comment on that every. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's like yeah, this is the this is the Yeti. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Um, I'm busy, Elena. Um, there's the Yeti. There's the what's this? Is that a Nazi? That's no, also a Yeti. Gotcha. What's this? Is that a flaming skull man from our hallucination? Like a pro. <laughs> uh. Yeah, bring it. Where's the last one? I know there's one more somewhere. One I can never find. Where are you? Or did I get them all? Doesn't it tell you when you get them all? Oh, because Atlanta called me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I like that the music is playing in everything, though. I think that's all of them, yeah. There's a little, little Zarvich is hiding. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, playtime's over. That's right, it wouldn't tell me because I already got the achievement for it. Because <laughs> I've played this. Once or twice. Anyway, so that confirms it. We are with, uh, we are with Elena. Time to be a dad. Oh no, Nate can't be a dad. He's way too irresponsible. But he can be a responsible husband. I don't think this is my office. Clearly, Elena locked me in the attic because she knows I'm a dumbass. Anyway, Elena's still doing her uh, travel thing, writing uh, guides. Instead of, I guess she used to be a reporter, but now she does travel guides. That's right. So she's working on a guide for Bangkok. Everyone make your Bangkok jokes. I'm too highbrow for that, though. That's me, Mr. Highbrow. Wow, this fancy ass camera. Another vacation. Camera. Been too long. <laughs> Heavier grain. Now that's a that's a game that would be fun to stream. You guys can see me fail hardcore on that one. One night and the world's your oyster. Oh, uh, that's Murray Head. I was like, I know that line. That's that's from the song. 
Good reference. Also, no one knows it's by uh, Murray Head. They think it's by... Um, they always attribute it to the wrong artist. Uh, I forget which one they attribute it to, but they always attribute it to a much more famous artist than Murray Head. Also, the name of the band is Murray Head, which is great. Is that... That's not lotion. That's... That's light lichen. The fuck is lichen? Wait, wait, what are these names? Hold on. That says go to crazy clean. Oh my God. These shoe. Where is shoe? There's some really good brand names that she could be using in the comic here. You got the lichen and the go to crazy clean. And now that song is stuck in my head. Ember, thanks. Anyway, I actually have played Heavy Rain. I got the second best ending, I think. I let one character die. Um, but otherwise, I actually got the second the second best ending. So I was pretty proud of that, considering I had no clue what I was doing. And I'm very bad at reaction games. And that is just a, a reaction game. <laughs> That's all it is. One giant reaction game. Murray Head is uh, Anthony Head's brother. Oh, that's interesting. Also, I've never seen Buffy, so I have no idea who Giles is, but uh, I'm guessing other Buffy fans would know who that is. That's actually a fascinating relationship. Huh. Oh, look, we got married all proper like. Soft six. <laughs> also, I can appreciate any game that has working mirrors. Yeah, he, he usually he only dresses up in a tux for um, getting into a fight in a British bar. A pub, sorry. Song was in a play. Chess. There's a there's a play called Chess? That's awesome. I used to actually be fairly big into chess when I was younger. Because I was a nerd. I was into backgammon and chess. But no one in my family wanted to play me, so hey, would you I played myself. <laughs> I'm just... I didn't have good friends. No, oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Oh, good joke. Good joke. There are many plays in chess, it's true. Yeah, I haven't played board games in a long time. The only thing that we get close to playing here is uh, sometimes we pull out the magic cards. It's been a while now, though. <laughs> All right, I'm here, Elena. I didn't go in the fridge. I don't know if I missed something there. Sorry. Done. Okay. Finish it? Mr. Highbrow. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but... That's, that's what she said. Oh, right? I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Huh? I love that they subtitled that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh... I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of I it. like those subtitles a lot. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck <laughs> we got. Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Kind of some, so, it, the boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but... I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So I'm going to take this detail and it's going to be like the Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Lost City of Bangkok. It's about, you know... The uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not not of Bangkok. Lost city near Bangkok. In or about the city limits of Bangkok. 
I tried. Wow. Right, I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? <laughs> in a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> the character relation, their character interactions, every single game, they just get better and better. About that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. Ooh, blooming onion, nice. You know what? I don't want it. I'm on the straight and narrow. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we I'm a good boy. I'm not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. I love how Elena is the one like. Call Sullivan. Please go do something dangerous. I haven't seen him Elena. in two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. Hello, welcome to the party, and thank you for the follow. I don't have a side tied, a sound ahead. tied to that. Dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it. Or oh, I love this let part. Me, um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a little TV game. <laughs> Shh, you don't know that. Beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? My TV game thing. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent <laughs> for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. This is pretty great. Look at that. A PS1, baby. Okay. Watch the game has officially been dated, or rather, the setting of the game has officially been dated. Sort of. I mean, you don't like that. The, the, you don't see any of the other consoles, so you can kind of assume yes. that this is around the time of the PlayStation One, before the PlayStation Two. When you turn something on, you expect it to. I love the complaining. Go. <laughs> I know your girl ship did not work out. I'm sorry. No, no, just. Uh... How do you, uh, how do you make it go? This is the first game you own on the PS4. Nice. Start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Yeah, um, we actually played the first three games in the in the quadrilogy before this game. Um, the camera. I got it. But I have to semi-concentrate here. Spin attack. So I can... Spin attack. Look, I'm going to do really good at this. I always get, like, to the last level. Which one's X? Get right thumb. Got also, the banter here is great. All the pits and the Come on, that's like my thing. It is true. That is kind of Nate's thing. The wrong way. Huh? Run towards the bottom. I know. I know. I just like to explore. You know? It's me. I love to explore. Uh, I'm gonna let them talk. I'll I'll go back to rambling in a minute. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Fuck. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I I would have climbed back up. <laughs> He should learn to climb. Climbing's always good. <laughs> Use your spin attack. Oh, God. I love it. Uh, the neat thing about this is... What is the fruit? A oh. hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> um, this is the first game that the studio did. Naughty Dog. So that's, that's why it's in the game. Okay, you got it. There you go. Nathan Drake cosplay, nice. There's a lot to choose from too, because he's got a slightly different look in each game, so you have many choices. Right? What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. A fox. Like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. A fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? A bandicoot, and that's just that's what he does. <laughs> fox, and it's not very realistic. <laughs> oh, these graphics are pretty good. Aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's very in your face. You do the Uncharted 4, Drake. That's not a bad choice at all. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. I don't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? No, no but I'm sure they never sneakers. Why is he stealing all this fruit? <laughs> foxes do not eat fruit. <laughs> He's not stealing. He's collecting. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. Oh, fuck. Oh, Oh, you didn't run out of time. Nothing. I didn't. I have one more life. Stay focused. Jump. Yeah. Jump. I'm working on it, Elena. I'm encouraging you. I'm coaching you. Oh, fuck. Well. Bandicoot. Poor fox. 
Didn't even get to the end. Very good. Fun fact, I'm terrible at Crash Bandicoot. I am absolutely garbage at that game, so. What? Is that it? <laughs> Her face. It. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, me. Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? It's a legitimate question. Come here. Ha, gay. I guess it's not gay, though. <laughs> 